attracting and retaining um, business is crucial to Illinois' economic performance. And both in the short term, so we're in a recession right now, both in Illinois and nationally, and also in terms of the long term, making sure that there's viable employment for citizens in Illinois. And one of the main ways that policymakers uh, can affect, uh, try to attract and retain businesses is through the corporate tax system. And Illinois has, has done a fair amount of this in terms of tax incentives. Uh, and so it's important that we evaluate the corporate tax system and our efforts to attract and retain businesses in terms of equity, efficiency, and simplicity. So by efficiency, we mean the economic performance in Illinois is the economy growing. By equity, we mean is the tax system fair? And then simplicity just means is it simple? So when a corporation wants to locate in Illinois, is it relatively simple for them to file their taxes or is it uh, unduly complicated compared to other states? Uh, so we found that uh, the, the Illinois tax system is certainly not simple, um, but either are other states, so we're not at a huge disadvantage there. Uh, what most states in Illinois have done is to have very various amounts of relief programs to corporations. Um, often what these do is provide temporary advantages. So the way it works is that Illinois will develop a program, for example, the EDGE program, which provides incentives for businesses to, to create new jobs in Illinois or to retain jobs in Illinois. But then, uh, you know, a year later, Michigan will create the same program or Indiana will create a program that's very similar. So you can't patent these programs. And so often, if they provide any advantage, which is likely they do, these advantages are short term. So maybe one or two years, and then other states copy them, and then you have no advantage relative to your neighbors. So when you provide these tax incentives to, to businesses, in some ways you're reducing tax revenue for Illinois. And so you either have to replace that revenue via some other source, or you have to uh, cut spending or whatnot to do that. And there aren't really any easy solutions. Um, if it's really important for you as, as, the, as the economy in Illinois to attract business, um, you might want to consider um, lowering the corporate income tax more, which would be difficult to do in Illinois because of the Constitution and whatnot. But hypothetically, if you wanted, you could eliminate the corporate income tax as an extreme example. Now, this would probably enhance efficiency in that it would create a huge incentive for businesses to locate in Illinois. One of the consequences of this is that it could make this tax system um, less fair in the minds of many people. So businesses are paying fewer taxes, so this means that some taxpayers will pay more. Now most economists would point out that there's a flaw in this reasoning, and we'd say that businesses don't pay taxes, people pay taxes. So even when you tax a business, someone in that business is going to bear the ultimate burden of that taxes. It might be the owners of the corporation who will enjoy lower profits, it might be workers who take home lower wages, or it might be consumers who then pay more for the goods. So it really depends. Uh, so, but a direct way to replace the corporate income tax would be an increase in the individual income tax. And the most fair way to do this, if you were concerned with equity and replacing the lost corporate tax revenue, um, would be to have a progressive income tax, which is again difficult to achieve with the Illinois Constitution, but it might be possible with a series of exemptions uh, that the state could offer to lower income taxpayers.